Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is a review for episode 7, season 1, of Big Wolf on Campus, The Bookmobile. This episode was actually number 2 in the airing order. It doesn't really fit very well. I think it fits better here. Now, uh, before we start the episode, an interesting uh, article- He's got a gun! <laughs> you know, for kids! LA Times released a article uh, around when this episode uh, aired, The Bookmobile. This episode is about a evil librarian who scans people's palms and turns them into books. I've watched this tons of times, but I've never really like sat down to actually like review each episode, you know, like I'm doing now. And I've noticed that this first season, specifically I'm talking about this first half of the season, the writing is good. I think that what really makes this first season great, in my opinion, is it's it has this whole ensemble of characters that we don't have in season two or season three. A character like Dean is, is in all three seasons, but he's not in much of season three or season two for that matter, but he's in a lot of season one. At the end of the day, it is about Merton and Tommy, but um, I do really like the other characters. There was a, a great uh, interview I was watching with uh, Dominic DeRosa, who played Tim Eckert. He talked about, you know, just behind the scenes of, of Big Wolf a little bit and uh, background performers. Uh, Dom said that he doesn't like calling them extras. You're still important to the overall uh, quality of the show, and I, uh, I fully agree with that. Uh, but there's another thing, uh, there's another subplot in this uh, episode. Tommy wants to get rid of his lycanthropy. Merton offers uh, Tommy the chance to transfer his lycanthropy. You know, Merton wants to be a werewolf. Um, Tommy doesn't. Seems like a perfect uh, solution. Uh, and Tommy agrees. He's like, all right, let's do it. Um, but then, uh-oh, bookmobile, on the loose. And uh, I just love this news report. It's just like, yeah, look at all these children in this one town that's gone missing. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... Let's say goodbye to this bookmobile that just conveniently showed up around the time all these children disappeared. Uh, but yeah, overall, it's it's a it's a great episode. Tommy Mern end up defeating this librarian. Yeah! Uh, apparently, she's not a fan of rock. Um, I guess if you would have played uh, some classical music, Stacy might still be a book, which would have been great um, for the show. I'd, I'd rate this a uh, eight eight out of ten. I think this was a was a, was a pretty good episode. Yeah, that's all for now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next review.